Good morning, good morning. Tomato Sauce in here with another video on PBC Classic. Uh, today we're going to jump back into the Kebab Warrior. Um, and as you can see, right, from the logs that I'm showing you on my screen here, this is uh, just simply uh, Warcraft logs of TBC Classic. Um, looking at the Sort by Boss and Trash Fight DPS. We're just looking at Arms Warriors, right? And essentially what we, what I wanted to look at today was how did Kebab do, right? Uh, we saw how it started off for, for myself uh, and the guild I was in initially. Um, you know, it did very well. Kebab was, was, was kind of pumping in the beginning of TBC, but did it round out TBC uh, in the same way? And the answer is yes. Kebab, uh, we have uh, some Kebab representation in the top 10. Uh, and Eeyore over here, this this fine gentleman. Um, crack top 10 overall, sort by uh, boss and trash fight DPS. Um, you know, we've got some some high level kebab representation uh, in an area where, you know, it's pretty difficult to get weapons, right? You're competing with Fury Warriors, you're competing with Rogues for those weapons, um, you know, Talon of Ajara, um, you know the season two gladiator weapon like these are some stuff some difficult weapons to uh to get your hands on and then on top of that you're competing with uh with fury warriors um for uh the nethers right um so there's a lot of competition in weapons for kebab but even with all the competition throughout this phrase uh we were able to to jump through into the top 10. um now one other thing i have to say is i have done some early sims on uh, tier 5 bis with glaives versus tier 5 bis with Kata's edge and i have to tell you as you get ready to take kebab into the next level um you you you're looking pretty good you're looking pretty good here uh the the glaive sims are actually dominating Kata's edge um you know again the early results uh i don't know how uh how up to date grox's sim is but the weapons are there you can check it check it out for yourself go to the uh the fight club warrior discord and just uh you know throw in glaives make sure you have the kebab rotation in there and then and that's in one of my previous videos and then uh throw in kata's edge and again make sure you have the slam rotation in there uh use any of the tier 5 bis uh gearing lists and you're going to see the glaives comes out ahead of kata's edge some sets it comes out far ahead of kata's edge uh which which at the end of the day, it's it's surprising and it isn't surprising, and here's why, right? Kebab is always scaled off haste. If you got a DST early, go kebab, and you weren't going to miss a beat. Um, you know, and this just shows it, right? I mean, it's able to keep up with the top slammers in the game. You know how guild dependent it is to crack into these top ten logs um, overall. Uh, you know, even even when I was pushing in the beginning of the expansion, right? I only did two or three lockouts. I guess I did three lockouts in uh in SSC and I did uh or excuse me three lockouts in uh what is it yeah three lockouts in SSC and two lockouts in TK um because you know I was getting moved into SSC to uh to get the talon essentially but you know it just it never dropped it wasn't dropping in the beginning of the raid um you know kebab was cracking we were doing good uh it, it was great you know then I took a break and uh you know I've since I've I've taken a break from TBC Classic you know, hit Gladiator in retail, but more important than that, we fully recovered from COVID, which was a big one, right? That was rough. I was I was uh, in dire straits there, and I've also you know started going back to the gym, um, and lost 30 pounds. So we're we're making moves in the right direction. We're pushing kebab. We're not eating as much kebab, but we're pushing it still. And uh, you know, life overall is uh, is moving in the right direction. I'm also having my third child so i just found out that uh that i'm having a boy but essentially enough about me this video was really just a a quick uh kebab recap see what what our boys are doing out there we do still have top 10 representation as kebab warriors so if you do not like slamming in tbc classic you can keep on kebabbing your guild should have no issue with it my guild had no issue with it and we were the server first horde guild on our server uh so keep cracking get ready to go into phase three of tbc classic if you get glaives if your guild eventually gives you glaives right if you're the first or the second or the third in line as an arms warrior you'll probably be about third in line there um 
you're going to be in for a surprise because you're going to be absolutely blowing away slam warriors that are similarly geared so thank you very much for uh for tuning in i just wanted to do a quick kebab recap um you know pat yourself on the back kebab warriors because in spite of all the criticism of fight club you guys showed out in this uh in this phase of tbc classic really in every phase but um you guys really showed out in this phase of tbc classic a great job guys uh good luck going into phase three um as far as what's what else is coming in the future for videos on this channel i know i've been a little bit mia since you know going back to the gym find that i'm having another baby etc um i'll be doing some retail content um i did hit a gladiator last night it was my first glad title uh in uh in retail so that was uh that was a fun fun experience i'll do some composition breakdowns if you want to get into retail arena um because it's a great mini game. I mean, honestly, once you have a character geared up, you know, you log in, you queue some games with your buddies, and uh, and that's it. You know what I mean? You just have fun and log out. It turns into almost like a League of Legends style game once you do catch up in the gearing. Um, without the toxicity, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, guys, God bless. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe because I will, I will, I promise I'm coming back with more content for you guys. Uh, gaming content, fitness content, you know, life improvement content in general. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.